Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good to see you all again. Congratulations again on your nominations. Uh, Ambassador Godek, let me start with you. Um, as has been mentioned, uh, U.S., the United States, and Thailand recently um, released the communique on our strategic alliance and, and partnership. Uh, that communique reads in part um, that it's grounded in, quote, our collective commitment to build resilient, inclusive democracies and advance human rights, end quote. Uh, at the same time, uh, the UN Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights, Human Rights Watch, and Amnesty International have all criticized the Thai, Thailand's laws that essentially prohibit criticism of the, of the monarchy. Uh, and in fact, uh, February 2021, uh, the UN Office of Human Rights uh, panel of experts said, quote, we have repeatedly emphasized that these laws have no place in a democratic country. Their increasingly harsh application has had the effect of chilling freedom of expression and further restricting civic space and enjoyment of fundamental freedoms in Thailand, end quote. Uh, as you know, there are many people in prison right now in Thailand for simply criticizing uh, the, the king and the monarchy. Can you just talk about how you will address those issues um, if confirmed as ambassador to Thailand? Thank you, uh, Senator, for the important question. Um, the United States um, certainly uh, respects the institution of the Thai monarchy. We understand the esteem with which the Thai uh, people uh, hold the, the royal family. That said, um, freedom of expression uh, is critical. And uh, I would emphasize both publicly and privately the importance of allowing people to freely express their ideas without threat of arrest. I would uh, certainly, as I have done um, in my previous postings, both Kenya and uh, Tunisia, um, make every effort, again, to, to protect the freedom of expression. I would also emphasize uh, the importance that anyone who has been arrested be treated uh, appropriately, with full respect for their fundamental rights, uh, and that they receive due process. Um, and I would make certain to, to, to put an emphasis on that as well. Thank you. And uh, look, I, I support our partnership with Thailand, but um, when I see statements uh, stating that we have sort of this uh, a collective commitment uh, to human rights, I think it's important that we um, make clear our differences uh, on those issues uh, with Thailand. Absolutely, Senator. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Mr. Buangan, uh, on, with respect to Mongolia, we know that Mongolia um, relies for about 90% of their oil imports on Russia. Uh, any thoughts on what we can, what we can do uh, to uh, address that issue and reduce uh, that reliance? Thank you for that um, question, um, Senator. Uh, Mongolia does um, find itself in a very complex geopolitical um, environment given their dependency on uh, not just Russia but also the PRC. Uh, and uh, uh, in, in addition to relying on Russian um, oil imports and other energy imports, uh, they're completely also dependent on coal. Uh, so I think it's, there, there are two opportunities here. I see one, an environmental um, uh, challenge, right, with uh, uh, their commitment to climate change to help them uh, facilitate uh, and, and expedite their transition to clean and renewable, renewable energy that can be done uh, in Mongolia. Um, but also I think it's uh, uh, incumbent on the U.S. Uh, to ensure that they have uh, strong uh, economic systems that would allow them to um, find ways to uh, further investment outside of China and, and the PRC. Um, it we have to accept the reality that uh, they um, have close ties with Russia. Um, I think that's um, something that many Mongolians want, but at the same time, uh, we, we should be able to allow them to do it in a way that respects their, um, their ability to do it, that does not threaten their sovereignty, uh, and does not uh, um, uh, um, co co coerce them or to force them to make decisions um, that, uh, that they don't want to make. So I think with respect to energy, I think there's a lot of opportunity there where we can help them transition to that. 
Well, I appreciate that, as you indicate, they're sort of in a, in a very tough spot um, geographically uh, with both Russia and the, and the PRC. And just with respect to uh, climate change, and I don't have time to get into it, but uh, Mr. Thompson, as you know, Nepal is especially vulnerable uh, to the impact of climate change given the Himalayan glaciers, and I look forward to continuing the conversation with you on that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.